What's up everyone and welcome back to the MMA Zone. Today, let's get started with UFC 300 reactions. With UFC 300 wrapping up, what are your thoughts on the card? Now let's get into some reactions from the main event. Bo Nickel versus Cody Brundage. Bo Nickel submitted Cody Brundage in round two by rear naked choke. Here's what the MMA community had to say. Megan Anderson said, Nickel having to fight through some adversity here against Brundage. This fight is going to be so invaluable to his growth in the sport. First time he's really been challenged a little, made adjustments, and got the finish. The MMA guru tweeted, dominant easy performance from Bo Nickel, but honestly, it's just hard to be amped and wowed by it when you're expecting so much. Ikram or Shara Magomedov next. Even whilst unranked, those matchups have hype. Dylan Danis tweeted, I'll kill Bo in one. Billy Q MMA said, I knew Bo was going to be good from day one before y'all when I saw him live in his second DWCS fight. Sandhu MMA tweeted, Bo Nickel gets it done with a second round submission and remains undefeated, now 6-0. Ben Askren said, if it isn't obvious, it is really, really hard to escape from an elite folk style wrestler. He also said, Bo is so good on top, he only has to get on top once, he is on top for almost the whole round. Ben Folk said, well, Cody Brundage put up more resistance than anyone else has, but Bo Nickel eventually got the body triangle and locked up the choke to force the tap. Might be time to get this guy an opponent who won't be a 10-1 underdog on fight night. Steffi Haynes tweeted, Bo Nickel performed fine. He rose to the challenge and got the job done. He's still a baby, experience-wise. No hype lost. Hamzat Chemaev tweeted, This wrestling was big bull. Did you see Hamzat's tweet about your fight? No, what'd he say? He said, the wrestling was big <laughs> Yeah, this guy's crazy, man. You know, I think uh, obviously, like I said, I'm not happy with the way I performed either. So it's easy to be critical um, and it's easy to be critical, uh, you know, of me, a guy who has less experience. But at the end of the day, I'm getting finishes. This guy's winning decisions and, uh, you know, he's gassing out at the end of rounds. I'm, I'm widening the gap. So, you know, he, it, we ever fight, he's coming out hot, but um, I'm probably winning, you know, first round, second round, third round against this dude and widening the gap. Every day I widen the gap on that guy, to be honest. Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukian. Armin Sarukian defeated Charles Oliveira by split decision after three rounds. Here's how the MMA community reacted to this fight. Tatiana Suarez said, That fight was exactly what I thought it would be. Great matchup. Another fun fight for the fans. Alan Juban said, Just a heads up, when Armin went flat, that was the choke defense. He wasn't out or hurt. Luke Thomas tweeted, great fight, should have been five rounds. Raquel Pennington said, fight of the night so far, what a matchup. Ben Askren tweeted, damn, that fight was awesome. I think Oliveira pulls it out 29-28 with the late submission attempt. He followed it up by saying, I can see it both ways, but Oliveira had a tight submission attempt for almost 45 seconds and I didn't feel Sarukian did a lot of damage prior to that in round three. Jan Blahovic said, Crazy good fight. Al Quinta tweeted, That decision was so sick, edge of your seat, open scoring. Casey O'Neill tweeted, Damn, I wish that was a five rounder. Another MMA news reporter tweeted, This lightweight division just continues to produce banger after banger after banger. Best weight class in the sport. And yeah, Gaethje versus Holloway is still next. Megan Anderson said, Huge W for Sarukian. He's definitely deserving of a title shot after that one. Charles is his own worst enemy on the ground sometimes. He's so good, but too complacent being on his back and it cost him tonight. Islam Makachev tweeted, be ready. See you soon, boy. And this is up. This is and I don't believe that fight someone can give it to him. You know, split decision for what? For like choke? For what? I don't know. So, okay, first round was pretty close, but like second, third round, I came back. I heard him, cut him, was better on the striking. You went over the cage and you were speaking to Dana White. Yes. What did you say to him? I said, uh, I'm the youngest fighter here and uh, I deserve to fight for the title. And he said, yes. Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway. Max Holloway knocked out Justin Gaethje in the fifth and final round with one second left to win the BMF title. Here's what the MMA community had to say. Chase Hooper said, the best boxer in the UFC and new BMF champ. Kay Hansen said, Max and Gaethje better both get that bonus because insanity. Charles Bird said, oh my God. Ben Askren tweeted, OMG, what a fucking legendary finish. He followed it up by saying, Max just stole Yuri and Rockage bonus. Al LaQuinta said 600k. Mac Malley tweeted, Max Holloway just said let's f***ing bang in a fight he was winning with Justin Gaethje, knocked him out cold. You guys said he was getting retired, that's the motherfucking goat. Jeremy Stevens said, holy sh**. Alan Juban said, all time greatest UFC moment. Dustin Poirier tweeted, we live by the sword and we die by. The MMA guru tweeted, holy f if Max Holloway sleeps Justin Gaethje out cold with a second to go in the fight, the most badass moment in UFC history. John Jones replied to a fan's tweet that said, bro, that's 600k easy, with an eye emoji and prayer hands. John Jones also tweeted, enjoy that 300k, Max. Tatiana Suarez said, Gaethje, why? Give them both 300k, please. Megan Anderson said, Max freaking Holloway, no f 
way. Baddest motherfucker right there. Steven Wonderboy Thompson tweeted, you can't deny Max Holloway. Chris Weidman said, holy crap, Holloway versus Gaethje. Jeremy Stevens said, Max was best shape, looked bigger at 155, endured shots, great pace, wow. Props to Justin for being a real one. Steffi Haynes said, Max beat his for a solid four rounds, then baited him into trading for the last 10 seconds and stops him. Gaethje will kick himself forever for that moment when he said, sure, I'll go for broke for 10 seconds when you've already broken my nose twice over, sure. Islam Makachev tweeted, Justin is a warrior, keep your head up champ. Spectacular performance by Max. Congrats. Zhang Wei Li versus Yan Xiaonan. Zhang Wei Li defeated Yan Xiaonan by unanimous decision after five long rounds. Here's what the community had to say. Megan Anderson tweeted, Wei Li showed her champion medal tonight. Yan had some great moments, but it wasn't enough. Great fight from both ladies. Tatiana Suarez said, Congrats Wei Li, great fight, great battle between those two women. Ben Folk said, Wei Li talks about the support she gets in America and invites us all to come to China and travel and eat. This, somehow, draws boos from the booingest UFC crowd that ever booed. What do these people even want? Kenny Florian tweeted, Yan fought a heck of a fight, so tough. Just thinking out loud here, but would getting mounted slash back taken slash choked out slash stumbling back to corner in round one qualify as a 10-8? John Jones tweeted, Chinese symbols with Wei Li and an exclamation point. And finally, the main event, Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Alex Pereira knocked out Jamal Hill in the first round with a left uppercut. Here's what the community had to say. Tatiana Suarez tweeted, What a card, UFC 300 delivered. The MMA guru said, Holy, Alex Pereira, one of the baddest moments in UFC history yet again. He denies the break for the groin shot and immediately sleeps Jamal Hill bad. Steven Thompson tweeted, The touch of death. Alex was setting that left hook up right from the start. Jab after jab to the body, then unleashed to the dome. Insane. Alex is incredible. Rafael Dos Anjos tweeted, What a historic night. UFC 300 was amazing. Shaheen said, Kick Alex Pereira in the balls at your own peril. Casey O'Neill said, Holy sh**. He's so scary. Ben Folks tweeted, and it's over. One clean shot from Pereira dropped Hill and some Bam Bam style ground and pound put him out. And still. Sandhu MMA said, Alex Pereira is a bad man. Knocks out Jamal Hill and then styles on him with the post fight celebration. Good lord. John Jones tweeted, my goodness. Kenny Florian said, waves off cup kick, proceeds to use murderous left hand. Alex Pereira, ladies and gentlemen, absolute savage. Ariel Helwani tweeted, Pereira on 301, he never broke a sweat. Steffi Haynes said, Alex told Herb, stay back while I send this man to the land of wind and ghosts. Here are the top comments from last video. Them gloves ain't getting changed until Jones retires. Dana ain't never taking away his eye pokes. Strickland vs Costa is going to be fantastic. Glad it's happening. Michael Chandler is gonna get f***ed over so hard by Connor. If Connor suddenly wants someone else, he's wasted three years waiting for nothing. I personally feel like Michael Chandler could have had four fights already during that time span, potentially making more than the red panty night he's waiting for. Is Connor even still that relevant? You got zero guarantees. 36 eye pokes per year on average across the UFC. They must have meant per year by John Jones, and if he fought more than once a year on average, it would be double or triple. 